Hi guys, so over there is my car. Oh, over here is me. And this is a little farmstead we're still happy is still standing called Lowland. Or at least that's what the exit is. And I'm here to get some photos. We are in Colorado on the eastern side. And we are over by uh, I-70. As always, I'm here to take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints. But take a look at this place. It's good to see there's still something out here. Although there's now tags. There used to be a time when people could leave things alone. There used to be a whole lot of stuff out here. A whole lot of metal wheelbarrows and all kinds of stuff. And I'm guessing they've gone to an antique store now. I'm gonna pause and get some photos. Of course anything that can be broken into has been broken into. Okay, that's really cool. All those old bolts, old shoes. Some tires. Snake skin, no. Dragon skin, still no. Well, if you're missing any fasteners, I think I found them. I would imagine even along I-70, if there wasn't a reason to stop, it'd be hard to keep a farm going here. See if anybody's home. Clearly so many people have been through here This is interesting, that happened to us once before. The milk jug has been eaten out probably by rats, or mice, or something larger like a raccoon. Probably a raccoon, as I don't see any Colorado rats about. Not sure we have any. Oh, well, there's a cool photo op right there. Definitely gotta get that. Kitchen's been cleaned out. I gotta get this photo. Even the kitchen sink has been removed for the scrap. Pipe's been left there though. This was somebody's house once upon a time, people. And they were very proud to have it. And yeah, circumstances arose where they had to leave. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't demand some respect. Here's another shot right there. I gotta get it. You know, a house like this, 
back a hundred years ago. It was really nice to have. Now maybe not the house, maybe the house isn't a hundred years old. Maybe this one was. Maybe this house raised generations of people. And it's kind of sad that nobody's made anything of it anymore. Of course, in this age of needing a code for putting a stick in the ground, to do anything with this would probably demand the entire site being cleaned up. And somebody, one of the owners, probably decided it was better off left as is to be enjoyed by us photographers. Let's go see what's in the barn. There's a photo right there. Well, if you watch me enough, if you watch Quiet Places with Marshall enough, you might just learn what makes up a good photo. And the textures on this wall leading into the smoothness of the grass. It's one of those examples. So here's something interesting. This is not petrified cow poop. In fact, it's probably last year's cow poop. Which means this property is still being used to shelter cows occasionally. Yeah, it does look that way. The barn is still being used somewhat as a barn. And that warms my heart to know that the owners are not completely empty from this place. There's a better way to say that. It warms my heart to know that the owners haven't completely abandoned this property. So it's not a quiet place due to Interstate 70 right there. But it's a quieter place than it used to be. You can see the bricks on the chimney up there fell down. And the other chimney's still good, but the chimney on the left fell over. It's kind of intriguing. And what's funny is the bricks on the on the roof look newer than the bricks on that chimney. So apparently somebody's repair, their mortar job, didn't hold up. Storm cellar, maybe? Food storage? So as always, my goal for capturing places like this is that they won't always be here. One good brush fire and away they go. After a hundred years of resting here quietly. Storm after storm. Hailstorm after hailstorm. Who knows, maybe even some tornadoes. And everything stands. For now. In this quiet place with Marshall. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends, you know this guy in Colorado that photographs quiet places. And they're often ghost towns or homesteads or something. And maybe one of these days I'll post something really interesting. So you should subscribe and have them subscribe. Why? So I can have gas money to show you more places like this. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching and say hello and goodbye to Lowland, Colorado.